hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so in this video i want to share about this uh pathetic i have to use the word pathetic this pathetic but this pathetic story of uh, Miss Oma. So basically, this is a secondary school girl. She just finished uh, a jump exams. If you're not a Nigerian, that's the like the final exams that people write. That through that the results they get uh, through the results is how they are able to get places in the universities. Okay, so this girl came out on social media and posted her result and her result was like i think i think about 360 or something like that and then it went viral people were like wow her results are amazing like she did really well from the results she got and then there was actually no problem at first this is how this story went there was no problem at first until someone decided to give her scholarship this person this person decided to give her that the the her state government was about to recognize her and all of these things going on especially the scholarship and then the next thing they said no that girl's result is fake and the, the jump office is saying that the girl's result is fake the jump office is disagreeing with the girl's result and, and this girl says she printed it the way every other person printed their results apparently there's a new system where they print it online not like in our own time <laughs> in our own time in benin where did they call that place is it not what is that place called now is it no it's, after after um ramat park those of you that grew up in benin you have to travel there queue on the line one by one to get so to get your result but anyways it's a good thing we're advancing into you know what technology can give us and you know they can check it from the comfort of their homes and all of that so she, she said this is where that is she got a result like everybody else and she's been accused of uh, you know what annoys me is how quickly they accused her of faking a result do you know that's the thing when i talk now you mistake me if it's in western society or so-called western society you accuse a, 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 the girl of faking her results her family will take it to the highest court in the country if they are sure that their child did not fake their result they would because you have accused her of something she has not done so they were not even quick to say okay let's investigate and see how did this happen apparently some people said eh, um, nowadays you know you can scam oh do you know that they even hmm. um okay before jump would do 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 like this people had already got they forgot it people were screenshotting and uh, you know there's a code you know the barcode and they were searching so people search and said they saw another result there so people search and they said they found the girl's name i mean they the people searched and said they found someone else's um that that barcode matches someone else's name not her name and that person is from uh, how many years ago and that person's called blah 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 some people scanned and they said they found her that the girl is right that that's what they found so instead of jam to take their time to investigate and say okay what happened technology can fail you that's one thing we forget technology is amazing okay the other time i have a kettle your electric kettle you put on normally tip most electric kettles, kettles are like that if you put it on when the water is finished boiling it goes off by itself but guess one day i was boiling i was like i was actually i was boiling i was sitting in the kitchen and i was boiling and i noticed that wait this thing is not going off it kept on boiling and boiling I freaked out you know luckily i was in the kitchen if i had gone upstairs or gone out of the house which i don't i won't be boiling water and leave the house but like, I, could, I could i could have gone upstairs i could have gone to bed for the night that my house could have burnt down that's technology failing so they should have first of all looked into the possibility of it being that their system failed but i felt like they jumped too quickly into accusing this little girl of uh, you know uh, uh, falsifying her results and the saddest part or one of the saddest part is that they accused her the next thing the girl was even speaking that she even when they were not saying that it's fake she now went to the uh, i think her and her family they went to the something education something board or whatever in her state to investigate they now started saying this and saying that the next thing they call dss if you don't know what dss is in nigeria dss is the fbi of the country they call dss for this girl that she falsified you know that she falsified her result can you imagine that and to true dss even <laughs> dsf to true even got involved in this kind of matter they truly even no matter how little or how massively they got involved they even do you know what is this to call fbi first you understand what what are the police what what is their job instead
think the first thing first is for them to look at their own system look for their own um tech guys you know every i don't know nigeria to be honest but like every organization should have their it guys you know that can look into it and say okay could they have that's where they should start from from there even they know all the way to dss for a girl's result and the question people are asking is why didn't you guys come out and say it was fake before she, she got scholarship the next thing this small girl is already in trouble she's arrested she'll be this she'll be uh, well let me read what the update that I, this kind of made me i felt like when i read this i was like okay at least we have people with common sense in this country okay so this is the the update this is the tribune i'm not going to read all of it you can go read the rest so just to show you guys some parts of this the tribune uh, so the tribune said result manipulation saga suspend all actions on mesoma reps tell jam the ha this is the house of representatives okay the house of representatives on wednesday directed the joint the joint admission and matriculation board which is jam to desist from any further actions on the issue of the alleged manipulation of the utme resort by candidate mr agk me mesoma this followed the adoption of a motion on a cause to investigate the alleged manipulation of the UTME by JAM by Miss uh, AGK Mesoma, sponsored by Honorable Abiyate. Okay, the House also called the JAM to lift the sanction on barring the candidate. The girl is already banned by JAM to lift the sanction of barring the candidate from participating in the examination for three years. You see the life of the poor. This girl is the child of everyday man. If it was the child of Dangote, it is not going to happen. But because she is a, a nobody, they've already banned her for three years. Can you imagine that? Okay. So, uh, where was that? And called for independent examiners. You see? Okay. And called for independent examiners to examine the girl's script to determine her scores. Meaning that the girl's exam she wrote. They want independent uh, um, uh, examiners to go get her the exam she wrote, her own paper, and remark her exams, and let's find out exactly how what she scored. This girl was actually said to already all her life always be first first in school. So a result like that for somebody like her shouldn't be surprising. Get my point? It's possible a mistake happened and her result was swapped with somebody else's. Result. It's possible, but it's possible that. Not be Nigeria, that her result was actually what it was. But somebody want to winchi her, if you know what I mean. Winchi is how will I even say, put aside in her gari. How do I even hey, I'm using more pidgin English, sorry. Um, like somebody want to, I don't know, you guys have me translate that. I don't know how to translate it. Okay, now the house also resolved to probe jam facilities with a view to averting such a situation in the future. Okay, and then it says. And um, the house expanded the scope of the committee to probe the issue of special centers for examinations in the country. That's another story on its own. Okay. The house said it was aware that Miss, uh, this is the part I want you guys to hear. The house said it was aware that Miss Ejikeme Mesoma of Anglican Girls Secondary School, Newi, Anambra State, sat for the 2023 uh, exam and scored 362. The house also said it was aware that on uh, 2nd of July 2023 jam, Head of Public Affairs and Protocol, do, uh, Dr. Fabian Benjamin, made the public pro, uh, pronouncement accusing Ms. Ejikeme Mesoma of manipulating her uh, results that she actually scored 249 instead of 362 as claimed. It said it was further aware of this. Mesoma came out to defend herself that she actually printed the result from jam right the house noted the girl had been a brilliant child all through her nursery all through her nursery and tertiary education coming first in all examinations she has taken before the utme hence she posited that she is not capable of manipulating her results now said it was cognizant of the fact that uploading or downloading results of examinations or polls electronically in nigeria glitches can occur at any time hence the need to establish the fact before any blames this is what this is what jam should be i see when i read this i was like because i was like is this not common sense and this give you gives you hope that there are still some people with common sense in that country 
Can you imagine? Imagine the dragging, you know, without even without anything. Investigation, fast, fast, fast. They are doing this. See the way they are going after this little girl, like this. I'm not saying don't, but at least do your thorough invest. It's too fast, 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 fast. I do not believe they did their thorough investigation before coming for this girl like this. And my pain is that it's because she is the child of a nobody. That is the sad truth about Nigeria. You know, that's the sad truth about Nigeria. Nobody said the girl no no book before. They said she has always come first. You know, so I won't be surprised if she truly if she truly got that kind of a result, and then. Because she's, I think they even said somebody wanted to sponsor her abroad. Somebody, all of a sudden, all these things are coming up. Let me tell you guys, they may go and do it and search it and it will be like, okay, that was not her result. There was a mistake in their technology or whatever, whatever. Right? Or it was actually her result and all of that. It would at least go through that process. The rush towards penalizing this girl, um, it just, it, it didn't look right. To me, they just, it just felt like. Somebody was out to get her. But at the end of the day, I think we can all wait and, you know, uh, uh, find out what the story is. For me, I felt like that was too much, you know, to, to, to put that little girl through. It's just too much. I don't know what you guys think. What are your opinions about this story? Whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave them um, in the comment section below. Uh, with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.